Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at a very free and lovely add-on that you can get from Lump. Lump has made this add-on called Kami and it is for creating manga or anime kind of hair. Now the beautiful thing with this is you can simply go over to his gum road and grab this one for free. Grabbing this comes with both the hair and also a couple of things that you need to read up to get started with it. Now working with this is also so easy because all you need to do is open up Blender, go over to edit, go over to preference and do your installation. Now for this one we're just going to go through and take a look at Susan and we will subdivide this and make it a smooth shade, grab that and simply apply. Now working with this is that easy because all you need to do now is press N on the keyboard and you'd notice that you have Kami right here. Now if I click on Kami you'll notice it says start drawing. Clicking on the start drawing takes us over to the editing mode where we can start placing the hair. Now this is uh, this is very very easy and I think a lot of people will find this one very useful. So at any point you draw your hair or you draw the hair, you get to notice that you have curve guides that you can work with. I mean there are a couple of handles there that you can work with. So we can drag this one over there and easily you can use this to start making Hair. So if you're looking for ways to make some anime kind of hair, yep, this might also come in quite, quite handy. So with this done, you can also choose to proceed and do a couple more. So let's go in there and add some more at this one. And let's add, let, maybe we should add some more from here. So one thing which I love about this is it gives you option to edit everything at the same time. So once you're done drawing the hair or, you know, the hair style that you're looking for, you can choose to play with the properties right here. So depending on how you want things, if you want to taper the start or you want to simply reduce that or taper the end, or reduce that, you can do that. So right now I've made that change. I would also be able to get something slightly different from what we had before. I can also play with the bevel mode. So if I want something to be a bit more rounded, you can notice that we have more rounded stuff. If I would like to have some object based stuff, we can also have that. Right here we have the profile and within the profile you have yourself this set of profile, your bevel profile, which you can use and you can tweak these things to your liking. You can also play with the existing profile presets that are here. So we can click that and we can play with this preset. So if this is what we want to go for, if we want something like this, if we're also looking for something that has to do with steps. So depending on you and depending on what you want, you can actually have fun playing with this. So let's say we want to add some more stuff. We can also go in there and, and start adding these things. And you know, at any point you feel excited about something and uh, you want to change some stuff. You can also do that. So I can click on this button right here and I can simply move this to wherever I want. And I can also select this and also play with that. Now, for those who would like to also play with the handles, yes, you can. So you can also play with the handle. So you can select this handle and you can do that. Now, if you can't see the handle or you can't select the handle, what you need to do is you need to go over to the overlays, uh, I guess here. Yeah. So you need to go over to the overlays and you need to make sure that within your handles that you have selected turned on. By default, it might be set to none or all, but simply make the selected, you know, the one which is there so that you'll be able to select that handle. Now, once we have this one going, we can now go back and start drawing some more curves. So once we're done with the curves that we want, you can simply do either of these things. So let's say maybe we just rough this one out like that. And maybe we just rough this one out. All right. This is very poorly done here, but let's just simply keep it this way. So let's say you're done with what you have. The next thing which you can do is you can choose to simply smooth the strand. So we can do that or you can choose to straighten the strand. So depending on what you want, you can do that. So let's say we want to straighten the strands for all of them. You can grab all of them, have them selected and straighten their strands and also smooth them depending on what you want. So this way you have that flexibility of working with these things even way faster. And you can also flatten the strands depending on what you're going for. Now, for those who would like to convert this to meshes, you can also convert this to a mesh by simply clicking on the convert to mesh button. And this automatically would convert this to a mesh. And this this is how easy it is for you to go ahead and start building these things and you know for those who are into sculpting you're looking for something that can get you that mesh hair you know kind of thing done faster this tool is right here it's for free so you can actually go ahead and grab it and start working with it now once you convert this to mesh most of you guys might be wondering can you now convert this to hair or something yeah you can use this as the basis of your hair creation and use this to create hairs 
faster so this is more like it there is no extra shader to this one it's just a, you know your default shading and also there is no extra stuff and yep before we go there is actually one tiny thing which i think i probably forgot to share with you guys and that is the depth so you might be wondering how do you control the depth and stuff like that if you're working with uh let's switch this back to this view so if you're working with some tool like this and you would like to get maybe something smaller because you know if we draw this we have this size and maybe if we draw this you would also notice that we have that size maybe if you're looking for something a little bit smaller than this or you know this looks too big what you can do is you can go over to the depth section and you can play with the depth so this way you can control this and you can get the most out of it so you can also do the same here and that depth leaves uh, you know it leaves with the entire thing as you simply create and uh, make this stuff so for those who are interested about this you can simply go over to lumps page directly on gumroad i'm going to put a link in the description where you guys can find it and you can grab this free add-on and start playing with it so tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace